So what do you think of the format painter? Pretty neat, right? If you haven't used that before, dive in there and take a look at it. Copy and paste the formatting. Now the next operation that I want to perform here has a very similar concept. Think of formatting. When you format something, there's a number of options that you can perform. I could change the font, the color of the font, the background, add borders, the font size, the font itself, italicize it, a number of features that you can perform to make something more presentable. Now let's say that you want to create consistency throughout your document in formatting. My headers, they should always be blue in background, white text and bold and have an, a border at the bottom. And I want to use that everywhere. Well, I could use the format painter or I could do it manually, but that's still a lot of work, especially for really large documents. And then what, what if you format a document, you make all your headers beautiful, they're big and bold and blue and white text and so on, and you think this is, this is, there's nothing wrong with this. You hand it out to your coworkers and they're just, this is great. But you know what, that blue, it just doesn't go with the rest of our documents. It's not our style. I want it to match the green that's in my logo. This should be green backgrounds, not blue. And you think, well, really? Now I gotta go back through this document. I gotta update everywhere that we have blue to make it green? What a task, right? Well, in steps, styles. Styles are saved formatting. Formatting that you create, you save off, and then you can reuse. Apply it anywhere you need within a worksheet or inside of any worksheet in the workbook. Okay. Create it once and just reuse it. Now on top of that, you can modify a style. You modify a style and this will update every cell that uses that style. Okay. Take a look. This is how you work with styles inside of Excel. And once again, much like the format painter, this isn't exclusive to Excel. I use styles inside Microsoft Word all the time. Super saver on time. And it also works with various features like table of contents inside of Word. So take a look. This is styles inside of Excel. So first, you know what? I'm gonna create a style that'll change my headers. My headers are already formatted though. So to clear this up, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight my headers. And I'm gonna clear the formatting. I'm gonna get back to just square one once again, just black text. So on my home tab, on the far right, I got my editing section and there I got clear. I'm gonna to go to clear and I'm gonna clear the formats. This is a really effective, really quick way to just wipe the formatting out of whatever you have highlighted. Your coworker sends you some document and it's like, oh my gosh, that document's just ugly. You can clear the formatting like that in one button press. Now that actually goofed up my dates. You see that there? Remember dates are just numbers? So I'm gonna really quickly fix those. Now you might recall way back when we were talking about dates. I'm gonna go up to number, change it from general. I'm gonna go down to more number formats and I'm gonna do a custom format and I'm gonna find one of those date formats. Let's see, there it is right there. And remember the little change that we made? I'm gonna do four Y's rather than two and now I've got my date formatting back in there. All right, great. So now I've got some raw headers that are just black text. Now, I'm gonna format one of these, just one of them. In this case, I'm gonna format cell A4 where I got bills. And I'm gonna do whatever I like here. I'm gonna make it bold. I'm gonna change the background. Again, I like blue, let's do the lighter blue. I'll do white text. I'm gonna put a bottom border on it. There we go. And I think that looks good. And that's something that I wanna be able to reuse on all my headers here. So once again, I could use the format painter, I could do it manually, but let's take a look at creating a style so that I can save that formatting and reuse it. So I'm gonna go back and select cell A4. This is the cell that has the formatting that I wanna convert into a style. So with that selected, I'll go to home, towards the far right, you got a section called styles, and there you got cell styles. Now in Microsoft Excel 2013 here, but this is true of earlier ones as well, you've got a number of different styles that Microsoft has given to you just out of the box. 
These are predefined formatting that you can use inside your document. But what I'd like to do here is create my own cell style. So I'm going to go to new cell style. This opens up my style dialog box and I'm going to give it a name. This is going to be my awesome header style. Super awesome. So I gave it a name and that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to hit OK. And I've now created a style that I can reuse. So I'm going to highlight all my headers from A4 down to F4. I'm going to go back up to cell style. Remember all those default ones? Up at the top, I've now got my awesome header style. So I'll select that and I've now reformatted all my headers. Oh, my dates got goofed up again. So I can go back in there and I can reformat those dates. Let's do that just quickly here. I'll grab those, pop back up. This will be more custom and I'll go get my date format there. Four wise. Ding. Nice. So they're all consistent. And imagine, you know, I'll make this a much larger document. I've used this style all over the place. Blue background, white text, borders, bold, looking good. Now your coworkers come to you and say, hey, that's super slick. Document's looking great. But can you change that blue to green? Okay. Now rather than me manually going through and performing this task and updating it, all I need to do now is update the style. Take a look. Back to home, back to cell styles. I found my awesome style. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to modify the style. Now inside the modify window, I'm going to go to format. This is going to open up my cell formatting window. And I'm all going to, uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is the fill. I want to change it from that blue color to some green, something that matches our logo. So let's grab this green right here. I'll hit OK. I'm going to hit OK again. And I've now updated my document. I have modified, updated the style, which in turn updated everywhere that style was used in my document. Very slick. Saved formatting, updatable formatting. You make one change, you've now updated everywhere you've used that style. Now, once again, this isn't exclusive to Excel. In fact, for me personally, I don't use them a lot inside of Excel, although they're a very neat feature. But Microsoft Word, I use them all the time in there. Think of a 40 page document that you got to go through and format. Somebody decides, you know what? I don't like that blue, let's go green. You update the one style, you just updated all 40 pages within your document. Same idea here. Try it out. Build, build a style, format something, select it, create a new style, give it a name, apply it to other cells, update the style, and watch the magic happen. Try it out.